Upgrading your setup by introducing a lighting controller will bring about many benefits and help push results to another level. You can be more responsive to the needs of your plants, fine-tune the growing environment and free up valuable time for other important tasks. With the continuing shift towards LEDs, anyone investing in this technology must consider how easy it is to hook up to a controller and the sort of functionality that's on offer. Here we outline what you can expect when you combine the incredible value Exolux Pro Series LED and the no-nonsense two-zone Parlux Master Controller. This includes a close look at how the equipment actually connects together. Before getting underway, we should make it clear that the Exolux Pro Series LED is an excellent fixture, even without a controller. Premium quality Samsung and Osram diodes, a 2.7 nm per watt PAR rating, and an intense 630 watt output all contribute towards the high desirability of this product. And there's manual dimming on board, enabling you to operate the light at a number of different wattage settings throughout the plant life cycle, so you can adapt to the changing tolerances and requirements of your crop. Yet bringing a controller into play really does serve to take things up a notch. Using the Exolux Pro Sirius LED with the Parlux Master Controller. The Exolux Pro Sirius LED is compatible with selected 0 to 10 volt controllers, and the Parlux Master Controller represents one of our top picks in this category. It gives you a much greater degree of precision, dimming in 2 watt increments, anywhere between 10% 63 watts and 100% 630 watts. Just a couple of quick button presses and you're sorted. However, for more impressive and effective control, you can also enter your target grow room temperatures, which the device then monitors and works hard to maintain, automatically altering the output of the Sirius at relevant times to keep on track. In the event of your tent or room getting too hot, the light intensity will be reduced, or if instructed, in extreme cases, switched off, until the temperature once again matches your indicated preference. Consequently, you progress from the four relatively spaced out wattage settings included on the fixture, adjusted by hand, when rightly or wrongly deemed necessary, to a more advanced setup, boasting 90 wattage settings that responds to your indoor growing conditions without anyone needing to be present. You'll no longer have to worry about disturbing plants or introducing bugs in order to move the dimmer dial on the light, since the controller is able to handle everything from a position outside of the critical cultivation area. And for instances when you do want to enter a tent or room, like carrying out a plant health check or cleaning equipment, you're able to use the master controller to temporarily turn the intensity down. That said, we still recommend wearing the correct protective LED glasses from Method 7 in such scenarios, using multiple Exolux Pro Series LEDs with the Parlux Master Controller. Opting for a Parlux Master Controller makes the management of multiple Exolux Pro Series LEDs so much simpler too. You can safely retire any existing timer and contactor and run all of your fixtures from one device, even splitting them into two groups with different rules and different light cycles. This is a huge benefit if you want to use an additional type of light to mix your spectrums, and handily, both the Lynx 600W HPS ballast and Lynx 315W CDM ballast are designed for the controller. Or alternatively, you might want to operate LEDs in separate tents or rooms containing plants at varying stages of development, e.g. veg growth and flowering, which also proves completely doable. Speaking of different types of light, the sunrise and sunset modes on the master controller will help stop sudden temperature swings from occurring when turning HPS or CDM lights on or off, reducing the amount of moisture that can form on fruits and flowers to prevent rot and mold. For LEDs though, the amount of heat generated is nowhere near as intense as the other lights mentioned, and our experience with the Sirius indicates that these functions only perform in a limited capacity. Connecting up the Exolux Pro Sirius LED and the Parlux Master Controller. The Exolux Pro Sirius LED features two sockets that allow you to connect it to a controller and to multiple lights. Conveniently, you'll receive a network cable with each fixture, meaning you're good to go once you've purchased the desired number of LED units and the Parlux Master Controller. The socket on the left of the fixture is the data input, where you connect your controller or the network cable coming from another earlier in the chain Sirius in a linked series of lights. The socket on the right of the fixture is the data output, where you connect the network cable to the next in chain Sirius in a linked series of lights. Only one Sirius LED from each of your two groups can connect directly into the master controller. If you're using a standalone fixture in a single light setup, plug it into the group A socket on the controller. 
For multiple fixtures in a single group, plug the first fixture in the chain into the Group A socket on the controller. In the case of two separate groups of lights, plug the first fixture in the first chain into the Group A socket, and the first fixture in the second chain into the Group B socket. For temperature controlled lighting, you will need to plug one of the two included temperature probes into the master controller for your Group A light or lights, picking the TA socket. And if you're using it, plug the other probe into the controller for your Group B light or lights, picking the TB socket. The probe or probes should be placed at plant level in the room or area of a room relating to the relevant fixtures, ideally in the shade about 60 centimeters off the floor. As soon as you have connected up your lights and controller, move the dial on each Sirius to the external EXT setting, instructing them to obey the commands of the controller. Then just make sure that all of your equipment is plugged into the mains. That's the full story in terms of connecting up the equipment, short and sweet. Clearly there are many reasons for using an Exolux Pro Series LED alongside a Parlux Master Controller, namely more precision, more freedom, and more intelligent management of lighting equipment. We've seen how easy it is to connect the device to one of these bar fixtures operating on a standalone basis and to several of them running in a series. For any questions that you may have, please leave a comment below and we'll try our best to answer. Don't forget to give us a like if you found this video helpful and subscribe to our channel for more high quality, regularly released content.